lists are your most important sequence type. I'll start up Python and I'll create a list. A list can have any number as long as it's finite number of elements. So I could have four elements, I could have no elements, I could have one element, which is different than the number one. So this is the number one, and this is a one element list. So back to the first list that I created, of course when I create a list, I can bind it to a name. And then, that name will be bound to that list value. Using element selection, I can retrieve particular values that are elements of the list. So odds 0 is 41, and odds 1 is 43. I can also compute the length of a list using the built-in len function. And I can combine these values any way that I want. So I can get odds 0 times odds 3 plus the len of odds and each one of these actually just evaluates to an integer, which then get multiplied and added as you would expect. I can even put a compound expression inside the uh, element selection operator's index expression. So I could write odds of odds 3 minus odds 2. And what will happen is that it will first evaluate this expression which means evaluating this is 47, this is 45, 47 minus 45 is 2, and odds 2 is 45. So lists are sequences. And when I say that, what I mean is that they have a length and that they support element selection. I can give an index to a particular element and retrieve that element uh, using the element selection operator right there. So remember these are our two conditions of something being a sequence is that they have a finite length and that there's an element corresponding to any non-negative integer index. Now there are other things you can do with lists besides compute their length or select elements. You can actually add lists together or multiply them by integers. So by multiplying 1a28 by 2, I get 1a281828, which is just the same sequence twice. And if I add the sequence to 7 on the front, well, now I have a list of 10 things. I can also have elements of a list that are lists themselves. So here is a list called pairs, which has two elements, each of which is a list that itself has two elements. So if I get pairs 1, that will be the element at index 1, which is a list containing 30 and 40. And if I apply element selection twice in a row, first to get this list 30, 40, and then to get its zeroth element, I'll get the number 30. 